struggling in an inaccessible home wants to pay it forward and help a family in need. So you really want to give your house away, right? And yeah. these guys, you guys are the high guard, have right? no idea that they're in for the surprise of a lifetime. They deserve a second chance to a new life. Plus, we're going to set a world record. Hey, you can't see any more here. They've got secret stuff going on here. Out of the room. Two bus moves. Two houses. And one incredible kid who inspired it all. Thank you. You're welcome. The little boy chose not to better himself, but to better a family who has helped him. That's what paying it forward is. So Polly, Payson, and Eduardo, this is going to be a big week. So right now we're headed to Moorhead, Minnesota on our way to meet the Gromish family. It's 10-year-old Garrett, mom and dad Bill and Adair, and his big sister Peyton. Take a look at this, and we'll see exactly why we're here. Hi, ABC! We're the Grumish family from Margo Moorhead! I'm Garrett, and my family is caring, loving, fun, and, well, I love them. Garrett is our youngest child, and Garrett has spina bifida, which means the spinal column did not form correctly. When he was four hours old, he went into surgery right away, and they closed up his spine. To date, he's had 24 surgeries, and he's 10. Garrett is paralyzed from the waist down. I may be different physically, but I'm no different mentally. I'm just a normal kid. Our oldest daughter, um, Peyton, she's 12 years old, and she's a great kid. When she thinks things aren't fair for Garrett, she'll go to bat for him. Garrett kind of inspires me because he's so strong and he can do anything he puts his mind to. When Garrett first was little and we'd take pain in gymnastics, he would cry because he had no opportunities. I felt like I was letting him down. Hope Incorporated was a summer camp program where the kids would go between three to five days a year. I remember her telling me that these families need a lot more. I thought, if we're feeling helpless and our child has nothing, there's got to be plenty of other kids out there that we can help. Green team, green team, green team. Hope Incorporated now is a year-round sports and recreation program for children with mobility challenges and their families. Currently, I'm the recreation director, and Adair is the executive director as well as the mother of these two wonderful children. Hope Inc. really has brought us closer together because it is really something that we can do more as a family. Before Hope Incorporated is a nonprofit organization, but if we don't have a penny, we'll still have Hope yeah. Incorporated. We'll always be there to make sure that these kids get what they deserve. My favorite sports are hockey and swimming. I love to swim because it's freeing. There's no unaccessibility. Garrett is benefiting from being uh, physically active and being part of Hoping. But with our home, it's kind of counterproductive because no matter what he does, he's needing to ask for assistance. Half the time I'm in my chair, half the time I'm on the floor, but both times I have problem with at least one thing. If I'm going this way and I want to turn it around, that happens. I feel the urgency is just because he's getting bigger, his wheelchair's getting bigger. Once your child's self-esteem goes away because they can't do things, it's really hard to get it back. I don't know how we can manage this house much longer simply because of all the barriers. We'd have to gut out the whole house because there's so many walls there that we can't afford to make a better house, an accessible house for him. And it's hard as parents because you want to do absolutely what's best for your kid and make and make the best possible environment for them. And we kind of feel like we're letting him down because we can't do that. But we wouldn't change him for the world because he's such a bright, shining star. This house has a lot of obstacles for me, but it's still a good house. It would be great for someone who's not in a wheelchair. And if you come, I want to give it to my friend Arlinda and her family, the Hydaris. They come from a country called Kosovo, and all six of them live in a tiny two-bedroom apartment. I met Arlinda when I was in fourth grade. She doesn't see any difference in me. She didn't ask, why are you in a wheelchair? She doesn't see the outside, she just sees the inside. I want to pay it forward by giving this house to my classmate. Awesome kid, right? Yeah. Incredible family. I mean, here's what's amazing, too, is that he wants to give their house to a family that really needs it. I mean, this week, we could really change the lives of two families. Can we actually do that? Can we move a house? It'd be awesome if we could pull it off, yeah. right? <laughs> so they're in for a big surprise because they're actually playing sled hockey right now with a bunch of their friends and family from Hope, Inc. I hope you guys brought some skates because we're going on the ice. Hi, I don't know how to ice skate. Seriously? Yeah. Maybe you learned today. Bring it in here, people. Are you with me? We're with you. Then let's... 
This week we're surprising the family in a really cool way. The Gromish family run this organization called Hope Inc. And it, it allows kids with disabilities to play sports and interact with their friends and their family in really cool ways. Hey, let's go! Get the puck, let's go! Let's get it! Let's get it! Go, Garrett! Get in there, buddy! Okay, there they are, right there. I think that's Garrett right there in the yellow helmet. Yeah, there's Garrett, yeah. And the whole Gromish family's there. So what do you say? You guys ready to hit the ice? Yes. Yeah, I really can't ice skate. Don't worry, I've got a ride for us. Come on. Nate, get him over here, guys. We're doing a picture quick. Right here, guys. Helmet's off, but then you have to smile. So Garrett, the family, and all the other families from Hope Inc. are in the middle of like this, you know, photo shoot for the team photo. They had no idea what was coming. so many other people that may face challenges like you yeah. to get out there and do things. Why is it so important to you to do that? Um, because most kids who haven't gotten the chance to do all these sports are just sitting on the couch and not being able to do anything. And you can just get out and live life. Awesome. All right, I want to introduce you to guys that is really leading the charge this week. I'm talking about our builders, Tyrone Leslie, Daryl Bram, and the whole team from Heritage Home. We understand what you guys do for this community. That's what we believe in. We are honored to be here. We are honored to do this for you. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. You guys think we ought to take the bus ride? Yeah! Let's get on the bus! I'm feeling excited. I didn't think in a million years this would happen. I've been wanting an accessible house for my whole life. I just feel like I'm on a journey to start a new life, an accessible new life. This is your house? This is our house. Wow, well, I have to say, it doesn't look that bad from the outside. It's the inside that we have the barriers with. From the minute we get in there, he's a prisoner in his own home. The house just does not allow him to be independent. Yeah, the door was only about an inch wider than my chair. So just getting in and out of the house is a problem. Yeah, totally. Well, here's what I think we ought to do. Zion team, why don't you guys hang out with the kids for a minute, right? Okay. Mom and Dad, why don't you guys show me the house? Sure. Sound good? Yep. Sure. Awesome. All right. So here you can see that when Garrett's trying to get in, he's just knocking the so heck he, out of the wall. All these are his markings, huh? Yeah, because he's got to try to bump and move. And then along here, too, because he's, he's nicked it so many times. So he's keeping you guys in drywall mud. That's great. Yeah. So this is the living room? Yep. This looks like it's sort of an office. Yeah, this is my office. This is my Hope office. Really? That's yeah. the corner of Hope right there. Yeah, I do all the, the newsletters. I do the bookkeeping. I do every aspect of the nonprofit right there. Does Hope stand for something, or is it just... Just the actual word of hope, that you're never giving up, that you're always realizing that something always good is on the other end of that hill. I'm just amazed you guys run this whole thing out of the corner of your living room. <laughs> Are you on a volleyball team? Yeah. What's the name of your team? We're just the Spuds, because that's our team mascot. The Spud, the potato? Yeah. So how many girls are on your uh, volleyball team? Thirteen. Thirteen? Are you guys, you guys all really good friends? Yeah. Well, if you... Oh, I got it. <laughs> if you had your own volleyball team, what would you name it? The Sparkling Spuds. Sparkling Spuds? I it's like kind of girly, but yeah. vegetable-y. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> So show me how you do this, now. Whoa, man, a lot of work just to get into your own house, isn't it? Yeah, and of course, once you walk in, you can see that, well, I can't go as fast as I want because it's rug. Gotcha. And I've always wanted to be the first astronaut to wheel on the moon. Like the moonwalk, except the moon wheel. The moon wheel, that's pretty cool. What's this thing here? Does it... Um, it comes with those glasses right there. You look through this, and 
and it shows you what the car sees. Eventually, I'd like to be an FBI agent. Well, I think that's something that you should really work towards. They're so interesting how they always, like, do thumbprints and stuff. Thumbprints, huh? Oh, that has nothing in it. It has nothing in it, but it's, I mean, I, I need to do a little something. You know, it has put nothing. your thumb right Let's send that to the lab if that's okay with you. Garrett has so many interests. He's a very bright kid. I mean, he had all these little spy gadget things out. He wants to be a, a secret agent. I want to be able to help do dishes. I always, like, try to help put them in, but I can't reach. When I'm on the floor, how... So you get on the floor? What do you get on the floor for? I don't understand. Um, well, I feel free when I'm not in my chair. I feel free. I feel normal. No, you do this all by yourself? Yes, I do this all by myself. Break and break. Break and break. Okay, where to next? Where do you want to go? You tell me. You the give me the tour. Room. Ow. Garrett's a regular little boy. I mean, he's out there playing hockey. He's out there swimming. He's out there doing things that 10-year-old boys take for granted. Uh, and and that that's no limits. And that's how this kid thinks. And yet in his house, he can't get around himself. He can't do chores. He can't feel like he's helping. And that, that's half the battle right there. He just wants to help. It can't be too far. And I had a firm grip on it. Okay. You lead the way. This kid has so much to offer, and it can't be done in this house. There's no freedom. There's no independence. So this is you guys' bedroom? Yeah. This is nice. So this was your wedding day? Yeah. Almost 15 years ago. We had hoped someday to take a vacation, a honeymoon, and we haven't gotten around to it. So. You guys never had a honeymoon? Hoped and dreamed, and then when you have kids with chronic medical needs, those things just don't seem right. too important. That's kept you more than a little busy, to say the least. Yeah. How do you tell your child... He's destined for greatness, even without his legs, and his legs don't define him. He wants to run and play, and he wants to do things every other kid can do. But we can do the best we can to provide and make him a, a happy life. You know, so that's the hard part for me. I can't make it better. I can't fix his legs. Life has a way of throwing you curveballs, and you just don't know what you're going to get. And for them, I think from day one, once Garrett came into life, it's been one surgery after another. It's been one worry after another. This week, I think it's important that we give Garrett a home that works for him. We can't fix his spina bifida, but we can fix his ability to get around in his own home. That house could probably work for any other family, just not Garrett's. Before we get you guys in limo, we sort of need to figure out what you guys want to do with the house. So you really want to give your house away, right? Yes. And the family you're talking about, nobody's in a wheelchair, so it could work for them. Yes. And what's their name again? The Hydaris. The Hydaris. And your friend is? Arlinda. Okay, to pull that off, it's going to take a lot of people. It's also going to mean we're going to have to keep a secret. Can you keep a secret? You positive? Positive. Okay. Speaking of secrets, you guys are probably curious on where you're going on vacation, right? Yes. Yes. You guys are going to the Bahamas! <laughs> you love water, right? Yeah. Love it. Let's get you in the limo. No matter how much has happened to them and, like, how many struggles they've had and how many worries they've had, they still care about doing really good things for other people. Like, Garrett wanted to give the house to another family. But to do that, that means we're going to have to jack up the house, put it on wheels, and actually move it somewhere. That a kid that young wanting to do something good for somebody just unexpectedly, I mean, how can you say no to that? All right, people, you've heard of moving mountains, right? It's a big day. We're literally going to move a house. It's just like Garrett wanted, we're going to give it to the high dollars. Since this house obviously doesn't work for someone like Garrett who's in a wheelchair, doesn't mean it won't work for another family. So we're going to take a house, lift it up, put it on wheels, and then drive it down the road to another location. So what do you say? You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready. Well, let's let the family know what's about to happen. family vacation so this is pretty special i mean first vacation ever bahamas that's pretty awesome i mean really that's right. oh. there comes a kiss right on your lips hello grandma's family hi, hi. hi. So Garrett, 
before you guys left, you said you really wanted to take your old house and give it to the Hydari family because your friend Arlinda was so nice to you. Well, that's about to happen. Take a look. Hey, Garmish family, how do you move a house? Take a look, you jack it up. Got steel running down the middle. You put it on rollers and you roll it right onto a truck. Drive it down the highway. Let's roll it! It was awesome to see my house getting moved because I was thinking, yes, they're doing it. Not that I had any doubt that they couldn't. I was just thinking, yes, the high dogs are going to be so happy. We've got the house up on wheels. So what do you say? You guys ready to move this house? Move that house! Move that find you anywhere. Oh, our dress has been changing all day. <laughs> well, I guess they've delivered a pizza, but let's try and deliver this house. Yeah, I'm just saying things are going really well. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not. We're gonna pull off. What? <laughs> the police. Over here. You know how fast you're going? No, I mean, I think around like seven miles an hour. Speed limit for this size of house is three miles an hour. You're going double the limit. And did you know you had a porch light out? I did not know we had a porch light out, no. Just so you know, every light's out. They unplugged our electricity. Well, I'm going to let you out for the warning, but I'm going to keep my eye on you. Okay. <laughs> I'm tired. We're back on the road, Garrett. We're not giving up on this mission. Uh, where are we? I don't know. Stop the house. I think we're lost. Oh, so, Garrett, I don't know what's going on. We seem to be lost out here. Do you guys know which way this thing is? Yeah, we're supposed to go that nothing. way. That way, for sure. Yeah, that way. Okay, guys, we will figure this out. I promise you we're going to deliver this house where it needs to be. You guys have a great time on vacation. We'll see you when we get right. back. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Which direction is that it? Way. No, it's that it's way. way. Hey, are you kidding me? It's the morning of day three, and I'm stepping into the basement of Garrett and his family's brand new home, which is going to be completely ADA accessible. Now, we're doubling the size, but I want to point out that these walls are energy efficient and use less natural resources. So a bigger house does not mean bigger bills. Hello, you guys are the Hydaris, right? Yes. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ty. Nice to meet you. My name is Zia. Yeah. Valdet. Valdet. Oh, yes. awesome. I'm in love. Ah, we've heard about you. So, Garrett speaks uh, very highly of you guys. Yes, Gramos family is a very nice family. So, since Garrett really wants to give their old house to the Hydari family, I think it's important yeah. that we get to know them. And it's so cool because they're helping out in the Gramos' house, but they have no idea that later this week, they're going to be getting a house of their own. I know that you've immigrated from war-torn Kosovo, yes? And how yes. many years in the United States? Uh, I come from Kosovo, 1999. Because there's war over there. Mom and Dad Hyderi have been through quite a bit from being in a war torn country to get to America. And as wonderful as what's going on for the Gramishes, for the Hyderis, it's it's every bit as great. I strong man. I work in all jobs. There are so many people out there that are still working towards that American dream. It's a new home for this family because a little boy chose not to better himself, but to better a family who has helped him. That's what paying it forward is. So you're friends with Garrett? On the first day of school, I didn't know him. Right. So on the second, I started talking to him, and I know him better. So he's like probably my first friend in a wheelchair. Well, he said that you were nice to him. Was everybody not nice to him? Does he get picked on sometimes? Yeah. So do you sort of look out for him? Yes, sometimes. What do you think about all this happening for him and his family? It's great, because he really can't live around his home. What's so awesome is this little girl who sort of stood up for a guy who, you know, couldn't, doesn't even know that that little guy is paying something so huge forward to, to her family. All right, come on, let's go help out. 
Okay, our compass is gonna sit up on the ceiling. Chuck, just lean that up so we get a good look at this thing. Now, the whole idea behind Garrett's room is it's a room where he can go absolutely anywhere from right there in his room. Garrett's about not letting his wheelchair confine him. He wants to be a secret agent. So, this week I have a mission. And my mission is to create the best secret agent room as I possibly can. For me to do that, I put a request into the FBI to see if I can actually go there. I, I haven't heard back yet. That's him. Hello? DeLeo, close the door to the globe. Your request has been granted. You're going to Quantico, Virginia. I'm going to Virginia! I'm going to Quantico! I'm going to be an FBI agent! DeMeo! Paul, where are you going? Who's talking to? Tell them they're on a need-to-know basis and they don't no, need to know. Me. You're on a need-to-know basis and you don't need to know. I think we need to know what's going Get on. Get in the car now. Paul! Oh. What is this? That does not look good. It won't at all. I got dragged off by a couple of guys in suits. I ended up at Quantico at the FBI Academy. Garrett wants to be a secret agent. What better place to go learn about what it takes than the FBI Academy? Where do we start? Three. Give me two more. Special Agent Butch, what if I'm, like, resisting arrest? I just throw a big... Oh. Get down, get down. I got to try a lot of different things from physical training. Execute, execute. To breaching doors. The closet doors I hang would have come down yeah. on my first swing. <laughs> to driving cars and learning how to control my skid. A little happy foot there. Sorry. Little, you're suspected of embezzling a large amount of money. To being interrogated. What do you mean you think? Okay, okay, it was me. I did it, I did it, I'm sorry. To learning how you gather evidence. This is black fingerprint powder. When I first met Garrett, I had him handle his piggy bank, and we got a great fingerprint off that piggy bank. We can use that in his room. We have your graduating junior FBI agent badge. Even though I didn't do my setups? Yeah, that's why I said junior. I got dragged off as Paul DeMeo. I came back, junior FBI agent Paul DeMeo. Yeah, no, I won't give him any more agent, uh, information than that. Copy that. Next question. For your turn. Let me sort of give you an idea of what I'm trying to do with, with Bill and Adair's master bedroom. Okay. Right above where the bed could go, so I got this photo that actually might look really great. This week, my project is Adair and Bill's master bedroom. These guys take care of everyone. They take care of their kids. They also take care of some of the other kids with Hope Inc. This week, I really want to take care of them and give them a room they've never had, a place where they really can call a retreat. All right, girls. So I'm working on Peyton's room. She's 12 years old, loves to hang out with her friends. So if I could get your assistance here. For Peyton's bed, I want to take the inspiration of a volleyball. So I want to do a round bed. I'm finding a way to make that bed also turn into a fun hangout place for the girls. I'm sorry, Chris. Girls only. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that this is the same house that we were riding across town in. It's absolutely unbelievable. What have you guys done? New brick, new windows, painted on the inside, new appliances. Things are moving in the absolute right direction. Garrett's oh, desire to pay it forward by giving the Hydaris their old house is sort of setting the tone for the entire week of paying it forward. This is going to be Garrett's gift, so it'll be a nice surprise that when the Gromishes come back, they'll be able to give the Hydari family their home. I was hoping you'd seen him, because actually some guys came, black suits, big SUVs, snatched and grabbed him. Yeah. He was snatched and grabbed. Yeah, we haven't seen him. So you don't know where he's going to go, Where all that. If you need to know, I'm back. Right here. Oh, ah! huh? And I'm Jeez. recording you with my spy glasses right here. Where have you been? Quantico at the FBI Academy. Take a look. Junior FBI agent. Uh -oh. oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. I'm clean. I'm clean. Where are you going? So Garrett and Hope Inc. really have inspired so many disabled children in wheelchairs throughout their community. So this week, we really wanted to come up with something special that really represents exactly what Hope Inc. means to so many families. Hello, Gromish family! Hi! Bye -bye. Now, Garrett, I just want you to know, man, this week we were so inspired by you because you really prove every day that there are no limits despite being in a wheelchair. And with that in mind, the design team, the folks at Hope Inc., and people from your community, 
have come together to prove that there are no limits as well. In fact, today, we're going to set a world record, right? to you guys. So we figure if we're going to do a logo, why not make it Hope Inc.? So what do you say, people? You ready to set a world record? Yeah. Yeah. Eduardo's put this together. Now, this is a grid. So it spells out H-O-P-E. And everyone is assigned to a number here. We're 17. So you should be behind 25. Go, Morgan! Go! We have an O! Yeah, Ty, it needs a little help. <laughs> 30, 37, and 44. Wow, it looks really good. I think we're ready to call it. Do we have an H? We got an H. Do we have an O? We have an O. Do we have a P? We've got a fantastic P. Do we have an E? We've got a great E. What does that spell? Oh! Hope oh, Bank, it lets children who are in wheelchairs participate in adaptive sports. And watching all those people in wheelchairs to form out the word hope. It was awesome to see that. Hope is what every individual needs in this world. So guys, we just set a world record! This is so awesome, isn't it? Everybody out here helped Hope Inc. set a brand new Guinness World Records title. Congratulations. CVS Pharmacy know how important it is for Hope Inc. to have the best possible sports equipment. So they have given Hope Inc. brand new custom sport wheelchair so that you guys can continue breaking <laughs> records for years to come. <laughs> Try them out. Hope Inc. got brand new sports wheelchairs. <gasps> That's pretty much what I was thinking. So guys, have a great time on vacation, and we'll see you when you get back. <laughs> driveway, we're really changing the way Garrett interacts with his home. All new concrete going in, smooth transition going up the front door. He can glide easily into his front door. But as you see up there, we're also going to have a sidewalk that goes all the way around, so he'll have access around the perimeter of his home as well. This is what I call looking smooth. I'm creating these chandeliers for the new Hope Inc. office that's going to go in the Gromish's new house. And hanging from the chandeliers are going to be notes from you guys to the family. So I want you to write what hope means to you. See you right at High Grom. Are you ready, High Grom? Oh, you don't want me to look? I'll come back in a little while. Okay. Accepted. All right. So I am accepted. Hey, you can't see any more here. We've got secret stuff going on here. Out of the room. Out of the room. Hey, Sandy, so anybody with spina bifida, the one thing that's really important for them is pool therapy. So now Garrett will be able to do that, and he'll have, to have that freedom inside a pool right in his own home, right? Yeah. So let me test this thing out. If you take that controller right there, he'll actually be able to do this himself. Watch. Now, Garrett can literally sort of just by pressing this button bring himself out over the pool. Hey, Ty. Are you walking on water? Kind of. It's actually a safety cover for the family, so if anyone falls in, they don't have to worry about drowning. Pretty cool, oh, huh? yeah, that's great. furniture it was so amazing because you think about what the family had before it was all obstacles but now this nice open floor plan this is about a place that works for Garrett that allows him to go everywhere and be everything that he wants to be you did really good thank you We're not just moving one bus, we're actually moving two. The Hadari family have no idea 
that when the bus moves, they're going to be receiving the Gromish's old house. And this is all because Garrett really wanted to pay it forward and do something kind for Arlinda, who was really nice to him in school. These guys are in for a surprise of their life. So, the Gromish family, I know you guys are very excited to see your new house, but first, we've got a big surprise. Now, Garrett, he told us that Arlinda was so kind to him that we thought he wanted to pay it forward. We know that you guys have really had some tough times. Well, we're hoping that things are about to get a lot better starting right now. You guys ready to move this bus? Yeah! yeah. You guys know what to say. Say it with me. Here we go. Bus driver, move! Yeah. Life is going to be completely changed. They deserve a second chance to a new life. Thank you, Arlinda. No one has given me a gift like that, but except Garrett's family. Thank you that you gave me that home. I'd like you to meet Mark Creechie. He is provost of Concordia College right here in Moorhead, Minnesota. Concordia College is awarding scholarships to all six children. Oh my God! that we could get scholarship from Concordia gave me a sense of peace. Um, a big burden has been lifted from Bill and I. We worry all the time, how are the kids going to get through college? As far as the Haidari family coming from Kosovo and the struggles with the war-torn country, it's just such a wonderful thing that Concordia is, is helping the Haidari family get their children through college. We live in the best community. We really do. Thank you. Coming up... finger right on that finger scanner. The community support in our town is unbelievable. I was overwhelmed with emotion because everybody there was just shouting that they loved us. We love you guys so much! So what do you say? You guys ready to see what's behind this bus? Yeah. yeah. Are you really ready? Yeah! All right. Move that bus! You guys know what to say? Say it with me. Here we go. Bus driver! the most beautiful house I've ever seen. Our old house had a lot of struggles and barriers. It was a good house for 10 years, but it wasn't handicap accessible. This new house was going to open up new doors. It was going to let our family live life to the fullest. The people you really want to thank are the guys that have been leading the way all week. Mm. I'm talking about our builders, Tyrone Leslie, Daryl Bram, and the whole team from Heritage Home! <laughs> So you have no idea. To be able to see this family get what they truly deserve, there is no more rewarding moment in our lives than that. To be able to see our community come together as they did, that's what it's all about. Go check out your new house! <laughs> could get into the kitchen, and that's where it stopped. He couldn't reach the microwave. He couldn't access the stove. He couldn't reach the countertops. In this new home now, he can reach everything. He can get to the kitchen sink. He can do everything himself now. And that's remarkable. So, Gromish family, what do you think of the new house? It's awesome! 
I think the first thing that you probably noticed is how wide the space is. Yeah. So now you can get in, you know, doorways, you have room to spin around. We've also changed the whole dynamic into the kitchen. You've actually got your own mini fridge. <gasps> So you can put whatever you want in there. Of course, you also got a little microwave right there if you want to reheat something. Cool, right? Yeah. Well, there's more to see. Let me show you. We've changed the way Garrett's going to be to get around this house. And I think Polly is the perfect person to explain just how cool this is. How's it going so far, huh? Oh, it's awesome. It's incredible. Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's awesome. Bill, Adair, Peyton. Our friends at CVS Pharmacy know how important freedom and independence is to Garrett. They've supplied you with an elevator that oh, takes awesome. you to all the floors of the house, all right? <laughs> so that continues with your independence and freedom, Garrett. Awesome, Garrett! Awesome! Oh my goodness! They also have a special room just for you, but we're gonna talk about that a little later. Polly, Garrett, we'll meet you upstairs. Grandma Stanley, check out some more hugs! <laughs> In my room, it was so beautiful. There was bumps that spike on the mirror. I had my own bathroom. Hey! Oh my gosh! I love my room so much. You push them together, and that becomes a bed. Hop oh up my on gosh, there. that's really cool. Isn't that cool? Go sparkling spuds when you have that. Nice! Straight ahead, let's go. Walking into my bedroom was like walking into outer space, literally. I told Polly that I wanted to be the first person to wheel on the moon, and now I can every single day. Take a look at that map right there. You see that map? You can travel anywhere you want to go. Going across the ocean, across the ocean, there's Italy, there's Sicily. Put these on. Whoa, 3D! Whoa! We are in Egypt. We are in Egypt, and those are? The pyramids. The pyramids, that's right. What city are we at? Manhattan. Very good, right there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Where, Where are we, we going? going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Here we go. There's A Street, and there we are back home. What do you think of that? I think that's awesome. Let me show you something. Put your finger right on that finger scanner. To find out how you can help organizations like Hope Inc., go to abettercommunity.com. Now, remember when I told you that CVS Pharmacy did a special room just for you? Mm -hmm. Put your finger right on that finger scanner. Stuff. My FBI badge. Come over here to this door right there. Push that button open. Whoa. <gasps> oh my gosh! Now these are all spy gadgets here. These are all gadgets that do different things. Check this out. Turn that on. Like I could be in this room and you could spy on me. I have every gadget a spy would ever ask for. Oh, that's gross! Stop Sorry. picking your nose! There's like a computer that has cameras set up almost all over the house. Oh. All I need is a pair of shades and I'm secret agent Garrett. Target insight! Target insight! Press the red button! Oh, that shuts it? That shuts it. When I opened that door to our bedroom, the first reaction I had was I felt this sense of relaxation. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at that. We've been through a lot of struggles together, but that adversity has made us stronger. It's drawn us closer together. We glanced up and we saw that beautiful picture of us holding hands. It was the most perfect bedroom for us. So you like? It's beautiful. I love, it's beautiful. We love it. Let's get everybody together, head downstairs, because you guys are all going to want to see this. Okay, okay. awesome. <laughs> You've got an entire office area. Oh my god. We're hoping. <laughs> this is beautiful. 
the Hope Inc. office in our old house, which is a little corner of our living room. But in my new Hope Inc. office, I have so much space. We can do arts and craft activities with the Hope kids. We'll be able to be more focused on the important things. We can provide hope for all these families that they can live an active, full life. These are letters from families of Hope Inc. Dear Bill, Adair, Peyton, and Garrett, thank you so much for making all the wonderful games and all the things you do. Thank you for giving us Hope Inc. Bill is the best coach ever. The Hope Incorporated kids and families are so important to us, and we wanted so much for them to be a, a, a part of this whole process. To see the support that they gave us implement everything to us. Okay, well, there's more to see. I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm going to show you next. <gasps> Now you've got a chairlift that you can literally get in and you can control it and it can take you over into the pool. My pool is awesome. Swimming is very important to me because it keeps me in shape and water aerobics is good for spina bifida. And so now I can get in shape and have fun every single day. So come on out, Grandma's family. <laughs> Polly, Eduardo, nice job. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Hey. What you guys do for all the kids in the families at Hope, it's more than just a weekend on a hockey rink. You guys literally give them hope because you guys prove that there are no limits to what you can do, even if you have a disability. I just want to thank ABC and Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Kids out there who aren't in wheelchairs, just because people are in wheelchairs doesn't mean they're any different. It just matters if they're nice or not. This is going to help us impact so many more families in our community so we can pay it forward again and help as many as we can. We have nowhere to go but out. Our future is awesome. Well, I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Grandma's family. Welcome home. <laughs> to find out more about the product used on tonight's show, go to ABC.com. Break away! Break away! Oh. Where's Pennington? Oh, the puck's right there! It's right there! Oh, oh. Wide open! My bad. Time! Oh. Oh. This game's tough, man. Sure. Thank you. <laughs>